Welcome to the Corp Vault channel. In this series we started discussing the duplication engines. In our previous video, we covered monitoring the duplication database disk pools. In this video, we will continue discussing the other options. Please, like, share, comment or suggest. Subscribe for more videos. And you can follow us on Instagram. Right click on the disk pool. Under all tasks, we have these options. Move partitions. Use this option to change the DDB location or media agent of the deduplication database. Move partition window. General tab. This is the current DDB partition paths. Partition displays the number of partitions configured for the DDB. Media agent and partition path displays the name of the media agent hosting the partition of the DDB and the partition paths. Target media agent and partition path will display the name of the newly assigned media agent and the path of the partition. Click Choose Path. Partition Path window. Select the media agent to which you want to move the DDB partition. You can select the new media agent from the list or leave the same. Click Browse from Partition Path to browse and select the new location on the same media agent or another one. Expand Advanced to view the VSS cow. Copy on right volume location. It is the location that hosts the snapshot of the drive where the DDB is hosted. Here it is default, which means it is configured on the same volume where DDB is hosted. Once done, click OK. Change Config Only option allows you to recover the DDB by updating the media agent or the location of the DDB only in the Comserve database. This is useful when the media agent of the partition is permanently offline and unable to access the DDB files or when the partition is unexpectedly lost due to permanent hardware failure or when the DDB files are not available in the DDB location. Current move partition job status displays the status of the current partition move job, if any running. Job initiation tab. You can either run the move partition job immediately or schedule it to run at a later date or time. Once done, click OK to start the move partition job. Depending upon the DDB size, it might take a while. Once the job completed successfully, you might see the old location, still containing the old files or folders. In such a scenario, wait for current scheduled backup window to complete. If all go well, then you might be able to delete the old files or folders, the next day. The next option to discuss is, Run Data Verification. Select this option, to initiate data verification operation. The duplicated data verification cross verifies the unique data blocks on disk with the information contained in the DDB and the ComServe database. Verifying the duplicated data ensures that all jobs that are written as unique data blocks to the storage media are valid for a store or auxiliary copy operations. By default, the deduplicated data verification is automatically associated with the system created DDB verification schedule policy. This schedule runs an incremental deduplicated data verification job every day at 11 a.m. on all the active DDBs in the COM cell that have the verification option selected. However, you can also run the data verification job at any time. 
data verification for disk pool window. We are on Comvault version 11, future release 24, and hotfix pack 21, so, if you are on some lower version of Comvault, then you might see some options are removed, or changed. During the data verification process, the DDB is referred, until the verification process is complete. Therefore, before you run a data verification job, make sure that, no DDB move, or DDB reconstruction, or DDB space reclamation jobs running, against the storage policy associated with the data verification. If any one of the job is running, the data verification job does not start. Wait for the jobs to complete, and then run the data verification job. Select Source Media Agent, allows you to select the Source Media Agent, from which you will run the data verification job. The Media Agent should be one of the Media Agents, displayed in the Data Paths tab, of the Storage Policy copy. When, any Media Agent, is selected, the system automatically picks up the appropriate Media Agent especially when multiple media agents, are associated with the copy. This ensures faster reads from the copy. Here we do not see the copy selection option, but if you see one, then select, all copies, if you want all backups, from all storage policy copies, to be verified during the data verification operation. Or choose, select a copy, which allows you to select a copy in which all backups on that copy will be verified, during the data verification operation. By default, run incremental verification is selected. Use this option to verify the deduplicated data blocks, that are newly added, or data blocks that are not verified, during the last data verification job. If you want to run full verification job, to verify all the data blocks, then uncheck this option. Data Verification Options Quick verification of existing jobs on disk, and deduplication database. Use this option for a quick verification, of all the deduplicated jobs, that is unique data blocks, and all references to the blocks, on the disk with the DDB, and on the Comserve database. This option validates, if the existing backup jobs are valid for restores, and can be copied during auxiliary copy operations. In comparison with the other option, this option is faster, because, it does not read the data blocks on the disk. Instead, it ensures that both the DDB, and disk are in sync. Verification of existing jobs on disk and deduplication database. Use this option, if you want to verify all existing backups, and to ensure, that the new backups refer, only to valid data blocks. This option validates, if the existing backup jobs are valid for restores, and can be copied during auxiliary copy operations. With this option, the verification job might take, days or weeks to complete. Number of streams to be used in parallel. Number of streams, allows you to select the number of data streams, whose backups, are verified at the same time, during the data verification operation. The number that you specify here, is the number of streams, that will be used during the verify data phase, and the same number of streams are used during the validate data phase as well. If allow maximum is selected, the maximum number of data streams, will be verified at the same time, during the data verification operation. Actually, 20 streams are used, during the verify data phase, and 50 streams are used, during the validate data phase. When you run data verification job from storage policy level, then you might see an additional option called, jobs to verify, along with these options. 
click advanced. You can set alert for the data verification job from here, that is, for job activity, or job completed with errors, or job failed, etc. Use scalable resource allocation. The option is grayed out for us, but if you see the option enabled, and if selected, the scalability of the data verification operation is enhanced, and the ComServe resources are optimally utilized. Job Initiation tab You can either run the data verification job immediately, or schedule it to run at a later date or time. Once done, click OK, to start the DV, or DV1 job. A deduplicated data verification job, is displayed in the job controller window. If you do not see it in job controller, then you can view the job history, at ComCell level, or DDB level, and the data verification status for the backup jobs, from the storage policy level. If the DV job fails, or completes with errors, then the jobs containing invalid data blocks, are marked with the failed status. These invalid unique data blocks, will not be referenced by the subsequent jobs. As a result, new baseline data, for the invalid unique data blocks, is written to the storage media. We will end this video here, and discuss the other options in our next video. Please hit the like button, if you like this video, and subscribe to our channel, if not already done so. Thank you. Do subscribe for more videos.